Now I'm going to show you how we can use partitioning to add numbers together really easily. Let's try 27 and 64. So the first thing I'll need to do is partition the second number. And I'll leave the first number as it is. So I shall have 27 plus and what shall I partition 64 into? Six tens, which is 60, and four units. And that will help us to answer our question. First of all, I'm going to add 27 and 60. So let's go to the number line. The first numbers I'm going to add are 27 and 60. But if I look at my number line, it only goes up to the number 10. So what I'm going to do is use my number line to count in tens, because I have six tens. 27 plus six tens. So let's see how that would work. I'm going to add on six tens. So 27 in my head, because I'm adding on tens, I'm going to count in tens. 27, 37, 47, 57, 67, 77, 87. I've stopped at 60 and the answer is 87. I added 27 and 60, so I got to here, and the answer was 87. Now I need to add on the 4. So 87 add 4. To do 87 plus 4, I'm back on my units number line. I'm not counting in tens anymore, because I'm just adding 4 units. 87 in my head and move to 4. 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. I've stopped at 4 and the answer is 91. I got to here and the answer was 91. So 27 plus 60 plus 4 is 91. 27 plus 64 is 91. As you've probably realised, adding is just counting. And if you can count in tens, you can use tens and units to make adding really easy. Remember, partitioning that second number helps you to count up more easily. Have a look in your book. There are some more sums for you to try. And don't forget to do the other lessons in the rest of the week. Bye!